Hey guys, I know it's been a few months since I've made an update and I'm so sorry. I've been taking a, you know, some time to, to walk this journey of MDDS and vestibular migraines and process and grieve and heal. So here I am. It's been a few months. I know the last video I believe was, um, I talked about how my doctors kind of threw their arms up in the air, didn't know what to do. We're talking about sending me to John Hopkins, um, tried several stents of medications. I ended up um, stopping every medication, got off of it. I can tell you I'm a whole lot clearer. Um, Mentally, I still suffer from, you know, really bad brain fog from the MDDS, but the medications made it like 10 times worse. So um, that has um, gotten a lot better. I did start a medication called nortriptyline. It is an antidepressant, um, but it has an off-label use for um, vestibular migraines. So I've been on that for four months now, and um, that medication has definitely helped take things down a couple of notches. I did um, go to New York at the end of September. I went to Mount Sinai and I did the Dr. Die protocol with Dr. Sergey. And um, actually, Dr. Mucci was there too, so I got to see two of the researchers that are so dedicated to um, to MDDS. So um, I did a five-day treatment there in um, last week of September, and out of the five days of treatment, I have responded to treatment one of those five days. But I had a wonderful response to it. And um, I am about 50% better after going to Mount Sinai. Prior to Mount Sinai, I um, physically had outward manifestations of severe rocking, swaying, and gravitational pull so bad um, that I had to use a cane and a walker um, if I left my house. So, um, Dr. Sergey was able to get that severe rocket, uh, gravitational pulling and rocking um, to stop. Yay! It's amazing! Um, however, uh, so the therapy is, it's called optokinetic therapy. So what they do is they use stripes um, and they put you in a round room and they project stripes going different directions based on your symptoms. Um, sometimes Dr. Sergey would go into the room with me and he would move my head back and forth to a, um, a metronome that was playing um, overhead. And then other times I actually um, would just sit there and watch stripes going up, um, stripes going down. Uh, he also um, would turn the lights off in the room where it was completely pitch black and he would shine a, a red light like a laser light in front of my face and I would just stare at the light and, and the chair rotated back and forth like that. Um, the, he also tried virtual reality goggles on me because the, um, the round room that I sat in when I would watch the stripes horizontally, um, the round room bent the stripes. So um, he believes that the bend in the stripes is um, what is causing my bobbing. So he got rid of the, the rocking and the swaying for the most part. I do get, I do kind of stumble, stumble and stagger um, walking through doorways, um, out in public when I'm a little bit triggered, but nothing compared to what it used to be. Um, so, but I am feeling this um, phantom, so it's only observable to me no one else this phantom bobbing which he believes is from the round um the the curve in the stripes so he did use virtual reality goggles on me um with the straight stripes to try to offset that it did not work however um about a month after i got home from new york dr sergey sent me my settings for home treatment with the home treatment I do, I'm still experiencing bobbing, but I'm having moments of stillness, which I never had before. So I praise God for those moments of stillness because they are absolutely incredible. Um, 
in New York, I learned so much about vestibular migraine, about MDDS, about how it's very um, unique to each person. Um, everyone is different. They have different symptoms. Um, we're very much the same, but very much different. So um, I did learn a ton. I learned a lot about just me personally and, and how this affects me. So um, he's optimistic that the home treatments will um, hopefully put me into remission eventually. Um, he did suggest maybe someday if this does not go into remission going back to new york and potentially doing another protocol um a, it's a motion sickness protocol where um he sits you in the room with the stripes but the chair turns like one direction for 20 minutes and then the other direction for 20 minutes and they do that over and over again for five days and he said that that deletes the ability to get motion sick from the brain and when you delete motion sickness you delete MDDS because MDDS is kind of like a, a variant of motion sickness is the way he explained it to me however we're gonna um, give it our best try here first for um, a while and um, and see how far I can get now that I have the optokinetic stripes at my disposal at home um, and I have the nortriptyline on board which does help in New York, they did tell me that I needed to exercise. That motion is our friends and we need to push through and we need to get out there. We need to be moving our bodies. We need to be walking as much as possible. We need to be, to, to be um, physically active and to exert ourselves and push ourselves. Um, so I have really um, been trying a lot um, to get out a lot and walk and even jog at times. I'm able to go to Zuma classes. Um, the studio that I dance at, they're so amazing. They turn off the fluorescent lights for me. They turn off the party lights so that way I can thrive in that environment. And um, so now I'm, take, I'm able to do Zumba and actually going to be teaching a couple of um, dances tomorrow um, at a Christian dance fitness class. So um, it's amazing how six months ago I was in a walker and tomorrow I'm teaching a dance fitness class. So God is good all the time. Even when the times aren't good, God is still good. He's still sovereign. And um, I've never felt like he's left or abandoned me through this. And he's walked with me through this um, every step of the way. And I know that um, he's going to continue to heal me and um, give me different strategies to do so. So another strategy um, that I'm using um, for healing is diet. I'm eliminating migraine trigger foods. I'm eliminating um, high inflammatory foods. I've eliminated, eliminated caffeine, which I never thought I would be able to do, but um, it's a migraine trigger. So... Um, I am doing everything that I can to um, to heal, to take care of myself, to um, to get to get healthy. And you know what? I am pretty darn healthy. My brain's a little wackadoodled, but um, we're working on it. So um, in the meantime, while I'm waiting to get better, I'm not just going to sit around and let life pass me by any longer. I'm going to get out there into in those difficult environments and I'm going to push myself and I'm going to work out and I'm going to force myself to move and stay busy. And um, there's several things that I'm really excited about that I feel like even though I've lost my career to this, that my story is not over, that I have a purpose still. And so um, I really have been... Um, feeling like this is a season right now where I'm supposed to steward what I have and steward it well. And so um, I'm taking advantage of this time um, to steward, steward my time well, um, steward my relationships with my husband and my kids well, to, um, to get my finances, um, you know, get my credit cards paid off. And and to get out there and get moving and that the foods that I'm putting in my body are to nourish me um, and um, try not to do the junk and the desserts and because I have a really bad sweet tooth and I love that stuff. So, but that's my enemy. And um, 
I'm not going to let life pass me by any longer. I'm going to do everything that um, I feel like God is calling me to do in this in this season. Um, I'm healing from the inside out, emotionally, spiritually, physically. Um, I I'm trying to use my creativity. Um, doing dance therapy, I'm painting, I'm upcycling furniture. Um, I'm just I'm I'm just trying to stay busy and the more busy I am, the more active I am, the more that the MDS and the vestibular migraines are kind of background noise instead of at the forefront of um, my life and my mind. I've quit talking about it. Um, I mean, if people ask me about it, of course I talk about it, but you know, I I used to, my husband would get home from work and he'd be like, how was your day? And I'd be like, oh, just another day of rocking and feeling like crap. And um, I've quit doing that. I've, I've quit talking about it unless someone asks me. Um, because the more I talk about it, the more I think about it, the more I obsess about it, the more I fight it, the worse it is for me. So I've quit fighting it. I'm not accepting this, that this is my, um, my life forever. I know that um, I'm going to be healed completely. I don't know when that's gonna be though. And in the meantime, I need to thrive. I need to live. I need to um, dance in the rain. So that's what I'm doing. Um, anyways, that's all I got for you. I am going to um, to try to update a little bit more. I'm going to attach some videos, some pictures from New York, and um, maybe even some like before and after where you can see how far I've come with um, how I'm walking and able to stand still. <laughs> You wouldn't think that'd be such a big deal, but when that's been your life for, you know, such a long time, um, and stillness was impossible before, those those little moments of stillness that I do have are a gift and a treat, and um, definitely don't take anything for granted any longer. I'm grateful for legs that carry me, feet that are planted on the ground, and. Um, heart that's able to love and hands that are able to help so anyways um one last thing i am going to be participating in a documentary um i will keep you guys posted on that it's going to start after the beginning of next year it's called unfixed so it's about um people with incurable uh illnesses that are um, on their journey, learning how to how to thrive, how to live um, in the midst of, of uh, difficult medical issues. So, I'm really excited about that, and I'm really excited to um, to bring more awareness out into the world on what this is, and hopefully, MDDS will be a household name where people will be a little bit more informed about what this is and be able to make more informed decisions for themselves knowing that this could be a consequence of certain behaviors like cruising, flying, especially if you have a certain predisposition for those things. Um, I've read a lot of research papers um, since this has started and there are absolutely predispositions for MDDS. Um, so do your research and um, Get out there and educate people. If you have MDDS, share. Share your story. We all have a story, and those stories are meant to be told. We don't walk through these things by coincidence or on accident. There is a purpose for our pain. There is a purpose for everything, and there is a plan. And you know what? I don't know what my plan is, but I know that I have a God that loves me. I know I have a God that has promised me that he works everything together for my good. So I know the end of the story. I know my story ends good. I know that God's plans for me are good. So in the midst of this, I know the end of the story. I know my story ends well. So I, it helps me carry on with hope in my heart <laughs> that I have a happy ending to my story. So everyone does. Don't lose hope. 
Love you guys. Bye. Thank you so much for, for watching. Falling backwards was nothing. What's important is that she's dropping down. Okay, let's do one minute at a time again. Down. Okay, watch it. Eyes open. Feel the dot is going up this time? Yeah, I feel like. Are you going up? I'm not. Good, good, good. 